good afternoon dear students here we are going to discuss today qualitative analysis of lipids or reaction of lipids right now first of all what are lipids lipids are a heterogeneous group of compounds that are insoluble in water but soluble in organic solvents the major group of lipids are triacylglycerols compound lipids and sterols now in case of qualitative analysis we just perform simple test that help us in the identification of lipids that that helps us in confirming that the given compound the given unknown compound is a lipid so we just check whether the given unknown compound is a lipid or not and that can be done by performing solubility test because lipids are insoluble in water by spotting test acrolein test saponification test okay or uh, for cholesterols for uh, identification of cholesterol we can perform liberman burkhart test okay or salkowski test so in our laboratory when we perform the experiments that is test for lipids or qualitative analysis of lipids we perform first of all solubility test yes of, of course then test for unsaturation whether the given compound lipid is saturated or unsaturated that is test for unsaturation then secondly we perform saponification test which is a test the for formation of soap and thirdly we perform test for cholesterol and that to salkowski test and liberman burkhard test so as i said lipids are water insoluble compounds which are soluble in organic solvents that can be extracted from cells and tissues by using non polar solvents like ether chloroform benzene etc now lipids that contain fatty acids are saponifiable and hence they can be identified by saponification test while those without fatty acids like steroids like cholesterol they are non saponifiable and they do not produce fatty acid nor alcohol they they cannot be uh, saponified okay some common lipids are oils fats waxes steroids hormones vitamins like a d e and k in the in, in our body lipids are converted into fatty acids and glycerol by bile and then by the enzyme lipase or they are broken down by lipase enzymes so now let us uh, study the test for qualitative estimation of lipids one by one suppose for example we have to perform first solubility test now lipids which are mostly oils or fatty acids or fats are insoluble in water so this test is based upon the property of solubility of lipids in organic solvents now lipids are insoluble in water as i said they are insoluble in water so the test is based on property of solubility of lipids in the organic solvents and insolubility in water the oil which is a lipid will float on water because of less specific gravity so you have to take 3 ml of solvent in each tube and add 5 drop of sample okay so in one tube where you take water you add 5 drops of uh, the sample that means the oil okay now for water and ethanol it is insoluble uh, in water so you can see for as far as solubility test is concerned we are performing this test to show that lipids are insoluble in water so what we do is we take water in a test tube and add few drops of oil so oil and water do not mix oil because it is less denser than water it floats on the surface of water so you can see two separate layers as shown in the diagram oil floats on the top of water indicating that oil is insoluble in water so it is water insoluble then uh for emulsification what is emulsification test emulsification test is done to detect the presence of lipids again so emulsification is a process which stabilizes the water and oil emulsion or rather as we uh, observed in the first test that what uh, oil is insoluble in water so when you add oil into water oil and water layer are separate can be separately seen now if you want to prepare emulsion so we are here going to tell you how water and oil emulsion can be formed it can be formed with the help of emulsifying agent lipid or oil in water appears on the top of water because of high surface tension of water 
which uh, uh, gets together to form a separate layer because of which a separate layer of oil and water is formed when you add emulsifying agent like bile salt or so any emulsifying agent what will happen lipids are emulsified in water and hence lipid appear as tiny droplets suspended in the solution so actually when you mix water and oil oil and water layer are separated because oil is insoluble in water but you when you add an emulsifying agent like bile salt or soap emulsion of water and oil is formed and in that case oil can be observed in the form of tiny droplets as you can see in this diagram emulsification case where it is positive after adding emulsifying agent oil droplets are oil droplets are formed it gets emulsified in water whereas without emulsifying agent oil layer is separate and water layer is separate okay so how can you do that you take two test tubes label them a and b add oil take water in the tubes both the tubes add oil okay and in one tube in the first tube you add emulsifying agent and in the second tube do not add any emulsifying agent after addition of emulsifying agent uh, oil is observed in the form of droplets and emulsion is formed the tube where you do not add any emulsifying agent oil and water layer are separate okay so that is how emulsification test can be performed spotting test can also be performed or you know all lipids are greasy in nature so therefore the test may be taken as a group test for lipids or in general test for lipids oil the the oil does not wet the paper the paper does not become wet like water with oil so what you do is take 3 ml of ether in a test tube and put 5 drops of oil in it okay um dissolve it uh, i mean mix it properly now put a drop of this solution on the filter paper and let it dry a translucent spot on the filter paper will be observed which indicate that the solution contains lipids okay so lipids actually do not wet the paper so you can see here you can see a brown i uh, mean uh, spot here that is because the solution the test solution contains lipids so spotting test can be performed then test for unsaturation now see when unsaturated fatty acids are treated with halogens like bromine or you can say iodine double bonds are saturated that means when you have a unsaturated fatty acid and if you add bromine addition reaction will take place bromine will be added across the double bonds in unsaturated fatty acids okay see in case of saturated fatty acid there is no double bond because they are saturated and in any saturated compound nothing can be added so here if your fatty acid is unsaturation unsaturated addition reaction will take place and a halogen like bromine will be added across the double bond right resulting in disappearance of yellow color now uh, the capacity of a compound to take up capacity of an oil to take up bromine is smaller the capacity of fats like coconut oil or tallow is smaller as compared to vegetable oil indicating that uh, coconut oil or tallow or you can say fats uh, have less unsaturation as compared to vegetable oils rather you can say that uh, more the Com uh, unsaturation uh, i mean more the compound is unsaturated more amount of bromine it will uptake okay take up right unsaturated fatty acids like oleic acid they react with halogens like bromine because of the presence of double bonds as you can see here there is a double bond right and across the double bond the bromine is added so addition reaction take place the amount of bromine taken up will indicate the amount of unsaturation more the unsaturation more amount of bromine will be taken up by the compound so the organic compound to be tested is taken in a test tube a dissolve it in 2 ml of distilled water add bromine water drop wise with constant shaking or you can say for example uh, you can take saturated acid in one test tube and unsaturated fatty acid in another test tube say like you can take oleic acid in one test tube which is unsaturated and palmitic acid which is saturated in another test tube okay and add bromine water and observe the disappearance of color of bromine 
if the color of bromine disappears that means the compound has taken up bromine and hence it is unsaturated if the color of bromine does not disappear that means compound is saturated okay so if the orange red color or you can say yellow color of bromine disappears then given organic compound is unsaturated okay and if compound is saturated the color will not disappear so you take the sample like you if you take unsaturated fatty acid in a test tube and add bromine water then slowly the color will disappear if your compound is saturated as seen here the compound will remain colored okay the color of bromine water which is actually yellowish orange will not disappear if compound is unsaturated bromine will be added across the double bond and hence color of bromine will disappear okay now the next test is saponification test soaps are made from fats or oils or their fatty acid saponification reaction is again an exothermic reaction because heat is liberated the soap that is formed during saponification reaction remains in suspension in the mixture and the soaps can be precipitated out as solids from the suspension by adding common salt this process is called as salting out of soap now triacyl glycerols which are lipids upon treatment with hot alkali like NOA, naoh will get hydrolyzed to produce glycerol and sodium salt of fatty acid which is soap this process is called as saponification so what i said triacyl glycerols when they are treated with naoh they get hydrolyzed to form glycerol and sodium salt of fatty acid sodium salt of fatty acid is the soap this process is called as saponification now when this hydrolyzed solution is treated with saturated or uh, when this solution uh, you can say hydrolyzed solution is saturated with nacl the soap will separate out this principle is used in the manufacture of soap now when you add calcium chloride to the hydrolyzed solution calcium soap of fatty acids are formed okay so to the hydrolyzed solution when you add sodium chloride sodium soap will separate out and to the hydrolyzed solution if you add calcium salt okay calcium soap will separate out right now take 1 ml of oil in a test tube add equal amount of alcoholic koh solution mix it thoroughly and keep the mixture uh, during the course of warming and shake up gently gently with little distilled water appearance of some oil drops will indicate incomplete saponification after complete saponification oil drops will not appear now uh, we can also separate free fatty acids from soap see so for saponification what you have to do is take the i mean uh, triacyl glycerol or fatty acid or oil in a test tube add naoh allow the hydrolysis to take place so glycerol and sodium salt of fatty acid will get separated out which is called as saponification and to this hydrolyzed solution you have to add either nacl if you want sodium so uh, soap or calcium um, salt if you want calcium soap okay uh, so you have to first add Uh, take about um, vegetable oil add about 6 ml uh, 6 ml of 20% naoh keep in boiling water bath occasional mixing then divide the contents into two parts to one part you can prepare calcium soap to another part you can prepare sodium so like that so that is saponification test now let us study the reactions for cholesterol now what is cholesterol cholesterol is a steroid it is a sterol which contains a ring a nucleus specific nucleus called as cyclopentano per hydrophenanthrene nucleus okay so cholesterol is a sterol which contains a nucleus called as cyclopentano per hydrophenanthrene nucleus it is an alcohol with double bond in ring b so it is a ring compound having double bond in ring b cholesterol in presence of strong acid undergoes dehydration and forms 3,5 cholestadiene, which dimerizes to give bis cholestadiene. This complex undergoes sulfonation to give bis cholestadiene monosulfonate, which is green in color, and bis cholestadiene disulfonate, red in color. Acetic anhydride, which is used in Lieberman-Burkhardt test, is also a dehydrating agent. So. 
for cholesterol we can go for two types of test one is selkowski test another one is liberman burkard test so here we have shown your liberman burkard test which is used for detection of cholesterol formation of green or green green blue color after a few minute indicates positive test so liberman burkard is a test uh, in which, which is a calorimetric test also you can detect the amount of cholesterol also green color test is for the green color begins as a purplish pink color and progresses through to a light green and then dark green color this is because of the hydroxyl group that is present in the cyclopentano perhydrophenanthrene per nucleus so green coloration is formed now as far as selkowski test is concerned you have to dissolve cholesterol in 2 ml of chloroform in a test tube so take a pinch of cholesterol add 2 ml of chloroform in a dry test tube mix it i mean dissolve it then add equal amount of concentrated h2so4 from the side walls shake gently the upper layer turns red and the sulfuric acid layer shows a yellow color with a green fluorescence so this is selkowski test so cholesterol gives both liberman burkard test positive and selkowski test positive so that is all about the test for cholesterol okay so liberman burkard test and Sel selkowski test are performed especially for chloroform uh, sorry cholesterol which is a sterol because it will not show any saponification test so that is all about qualitative analysis of lipids